uh, welcome back to this next video and in this video we are going to talk about the uh, pharyngitis uh, so the first thing is what is pharyngitis now the pharyngitis uh, which is also known as the sore throat uh, or throat infection is a painful inflammation of the back part of the throat uh, which is known as the pharynx so pharyngitis is actually the painful inflammation of the pharynx now during the uh, pharyngitis uh, some or all of the following parts of the throat that can be involved the back third of the tongue the soft palate you can call it is the roof of the mouth uh, and the tonsils which are actually the fleshy tissue that are part of the throat's immune defenses so in pharyngitis some or all of these parts they can be inflamed now this uh, is actually the uh, pharynx if you look at this particular diagram so the this part which is known as the nasopharynx this is the oropharynx and these are the uh, laryngopharynx and they have got different functions but this part the back of the throat is actually called is the uh, pharynx now in this particular diagram uh, i want to show you the uh, difference between a normal tonsils and the inflamed tonsils uh, because in the pharyngitis uh, sometimes the tonsil that can be inflamed so if you look at these one these particular small structure if you can see them these are the normal tonsils but during the uh, pharyngitis you can see the inflammation of these tonsils now uh, uh, at this particular time forget about these white spots because that is when there is bacterial pharyngitis which we will discuss in the uh, next video so the uh, tonsils during the pharyngitis that can be inflamed and you can see the inflammation over here now this part, uh, the soft palate, which is actually the roof of the mouth, uh, in some cases of the pharyngitis, they can also be uh, inflamed. Uh, when you uh, look a person with uh, a viral pharyngitis, you can actually see the uh, pharynx in this particular form. These uh, reddish structure, they are actually showing you the uh, inflammation of the uh, pharynx. Now what are the uh, most common causes? Um, the uh, most common causes of the sore throat or the uh, pharyngitis uh, that are bacteria or viruses but in this particular video we are only focusing on the uh, viruses but bacteria can also be responsible for causing the uh, pharyngitis now because of infection of the pharynx almost always involves the tonsils uh, in most of the cases of the inflammation of the pharynx or the infection of the pharynx uh, the tonsils are involved so tonsillitis uh, which is actually the inflammation of the tonsils that was once a common name for the uh, infectious pharyngitis now about 90 percent of the throat infection they are caused by the viruses and uh, in regions that have warm summers and uh, cool winters the viral pharyngitis typically peaks during the uh, winter and the early springs now the reason is that uh, it peaks during the uh, uh, during the uh, winter or during the early spring is that this is the time when people are most likely to gather in a poorly ventilated rooms so in a winter or in the early springs uh, usually the ventilation of the room that is very poor uh, as compared to the summers so when the uh, ventilation is poor that actually ch gave the gave a good chance to the viruses and that cause pharyngitis to spread easily among the uh, infected and non-infected individuals now these viruses how they spread from an infected individual to an uninfected individuals so these viruses they can spread through the air by hanging on to droplets from the cuffs and the sneezes of the infected individuals and they can also stick to the uh, unwashed hands that have been exposed to fluids uh, from a six person's nose or mouth now if you talk about the viral pharyngitis now in most people who are otherwise healthy they do not have any underlying conditions the simple viral pharyngitis it doesn't last long and it goes away on its own uh, following the uh, supportive therapy that i'll discuss in a while and it does not cause any long-term complications in the healthy individuals but uh, short-term uh, discomfort that can be very significant uh, in the uh, viral pharyngitis if you talk about the viruses and the common viruses which are responsible for causing the uh, viral pharyngitis so the most common one they are the uh, rhinoviruses 
and more than 100 different serotypes of ITCAS, approximately 20% of the cases of the pharyngitis and about 30 to 50% cases of the common cold. Now the viral pharyngitis can also be caused by the uh, adenoviruses, can also be caused by the Epstein-Barr virus, by the herpes simplex virus, the influenza and the uh, para-influenza viruses. So these are some of the uh, common viruses which are causing the uh, viral pharyngitis. If you talk about the symptoms of the uh, viral pharyngitis, so uh, in during the viral pharyngitis, the sore throat often is accompanied by uh, some other symptoms uh, such as uh, a red throat, as I've shown you that in the uh, diagram. Uh, you can have a runny or stuffy nose, uh, dry cough, the horsiness, the redness of the eye, and when the uh, viral pharyngitis happens in children, sometimes you may, may, may see the diarrhea in children's and some viruses they can also cause painful sores in and around the mouth uh, including the uh, lips so these are the uh, common uh, symptoms of the uh, viral pharyngitis uh, if you talk about the uh, treatment of the viral pharyngitis the treatment is usually supportive in nature what i mean by that is that during the uh, viral pharyngitis, the antibiotics, they do not work against the viruses. So uh, virus pharyngitis is usually treated by treating the symptoms uh, to make you feel more comfortable until your body immune system defeats the infections. And some of the most common supportive measures that you should take when you have a viral pharyngitis that include uh, getting plenty of rest, uh, either in or out of the bed, but you should go for plenty of the rest. Uh, taking a uh, brufen or aspirin so aspirin is usually recommended in adults only so the brufen and the aspirin can actually uh, relieve the throat pain now drinking a uh, plenty of water to prevent a dehydration because when the uh, there is dehydration in the uh, throat uh, that is actually very painful so if you are uh, taking plenty of water that can actually prevent a dehydration gardening with warm salty water can also ease the uh, throat pain uh, drinking warm liquids like uh, as I've told you it usually spreads during the uh, winter or the uh, springs the start of the springs so if you are taking uh, you're, you're taking uh, warm liquids like tea or eating a uh, gelatin deserts that can actually soothe the throat and using a cool mist vaporizer to uh, relieve the throat dryness or using the uh, non prescription uh, throat lozenges or anesthetics uh, throat spray that can actually uh, give a comfort or a soothing effect to the uh, infected throat. Now these measures that will help to ease your discomfort uh, with uh, any type of the uh, throat infection. So you can also use these kind of the supportive therapies if you have uh, a bacterial pharyngitis as well. So if you like the video, uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel, uh, hit the like button and we'll talk about the uh, bacterial pharyngitis in the uh, uh, next video.